to take you guys outside for a reading, but the bugs are literally deafeningly loud. I don't know why. They just keep getting louder and louder. So I'm just going to take this indoors and hopefully another day I can beat these guys out of sound here. Are you serious? And it's like the only day that hasn't been like stiflingly, like sweat drenchingly, Florida disgusting hot. And I was like all excited to read out here with you guys today. But they just it's too loud, so I guess we're just going to take this inside as per usual, okay? All right, Pisces, and we're back. <laughs> back to the indoors. All right, Pisces, end of August 2018. And again, guys, if you want to enter the contest um, to win a free 10-minute reading, all you have to do is like, comment, share, and subscribe, and then email me, okay? I'm going to be choosing 10 people for 10 10-minute 10 readings for free and then also all my 20 minute readings are just $15 from August 20th to 25th right now. This is all happening from August 20th to 25th. Alright, Pisces, what do we need to know? Events, energies, things coming in, events, what will be happening for the end of August for Pisces? And again, this will not resonate with every Pisces. And if it doesn't, maybe go check out videos to your sun, moon, or rising instead. Um, or it could just be that these messages needed to come through for other Pisces for one reason or another. All right. And I will be using my Hobbit deck. I have been for all the other end of August readings. So let's see. We have the King of Cups. The Seven of Wands. If you hear some stuff in the background, my boyfriend is cleaning loudly. Hold on. Okay. Ace of Cups. Wow. And Death. Wow, Pisces, that's kind of a strong reading, huh? <laughs> All right, so let's start with the King of Cups here. Um, I'm just going to get this open for you guys so we can read about him. All right, here we go. Bilbo stands outside his home on his own land, deep in thought. Between the two trees, half hidden, we see Bag End. Bilbo has come full circle back to where his story started. So, when Bilbo arrived at ba back at Bag End, he did so in the middle of an auction. He had to buy back many of the things that, he had, that had already been sold off. He hung his sword sting over the mantelpiece. His coat of mail was arranged on... Sorry, i got to flip this here. Beep -a -doo. This is what happens when you're not feminine and you don't have nails. Um... <laughs> A stand in the hall, his magic ring, he kept a great secret. He took to writing poetry and visiting the elves. Some years afterwards, Bill began writing his memoirs, which is how we get this tale. So yeah, this is being very emotionally stable, very emotionally mature. Often, I mean, this could be you, Pisces, especially if you, I mean, it doesn't, gender doesn't really involve so much to me with the cards, so this could, this is probably you, Pisces, this is you. Um, being really emotionally secure, being really happy with where you are in life, and feeling like, I don't know, kind of like your best self is what it feels like. So mid-month could have you, like mid to the end of um, August could have you feeling like your best self. Um, you're standing your ground here with that seven of wands too. Um, it's just, uh, you guys are feeling really good. <laughs> it feels like you're giving off a really strong, strong feeling. Like you, like you were really like just... You're a really strong person at this point. I feel like a lot of your friends and family are noticing that you are that you're really like yourself right now. You are like more than yourself. You are really you're just giving off these like strong balancing emotions, like this this feeling around you. So you could be attracting people into your life that need help right now. Um that need some emotional balancing and you could be really handling it just really well. You could be almost like the counselor of a situation. If you are a counselor, um then you're being then you're being like you know you're like really being a great counselor right now you're really it sounds really dumb but um you're 
you're really uh, good at your job at this point or like you're really falling into place with it if that's what you are um, again it could all I mean I think a lot of it is just that this is you at your best right now um, we'll pull some clarifiers um, after we go through these a little bit the seven of wands here so let's see the seven of wands it's a war gun fire <laughs> not man on fire this is war gun fire <laughs> All right, with fire sting, sting, singeing their fur, why can't I speak? The wargs howl terribly from the power of Gandalf's wand. Just a few moments earlier, their success had seemed so certain, for it was Gandalf alone who understood their wolfish speech. Regardless of his fear, he was not going to let them have their own way. Their no the noise and commotion from the wolves and the fireballs awakened the interest of the Lord of the Eagles of the Misty Mountains, who came to investigate and who it's but I did their escape. I don't know why I just couldn't say that. Um, yeah, so you guys are cutting down your problems. You're standing up for yourselves is what it feels like. You're not letting, you're like defending yourself. You're on the defense is how this feels. It's like you're defending your stance. You're defending or putting, keeping something at bay. You're fighting to defend something. You're fighting to keep something else at bay from taking over. You're fighting for your, for your spot right now is how this feels. Sorry. Bug bite. Um... It's like very much a very courageous feeling card. Like you're like standing up amid, like amongst a lot of people and kind of like taking the fire here. You're like, I will stand here on fire if I have to, to just prove that I am not going to be taken down by this is kind of how it feels. Um, I'm going to pull some clarifiers though before we move on for these guys. Um, or actually, I'll finish through actually before I do any clarifiers. The Ace of Cups here. All right. So I want to be able to read you guys all the descriptions of the imagery just so I think it's really beautiful and I think it gives actually a really good um, explanation to like the meaning. They, I don't know, they really tie it in very well. <laughs> Maybe I'm just a giant nerd and I just really like it, but I really, really like anything to do with The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings. Um, sorry if it's a little bit dark, guys. My light went out right before this. Should we get some bulbs? <laughs> This beautiful chalice encrusted with gems bears a runic inscription meaning Thorin Oaken. The seven stars shining down illuminate a sense of peace, serenity, and sublime tranquility. We are reminded of the legendary cup of Thor and also the cup which Bilbo steals from the dragon Smog's lair for its disappearance starts the dragon off on its rampage. The chalice has been a symbol of spirituality and myth and legend throughout the ages. So yeah, you guys are getting some emotional fulfillment, some intense emotional fulfillment here. It's like the feeling of falling in love. It's the feeling of like realizing a purpose that just resonates with your heart in a way that makes you feel like you're falling in love with a situation, a person, um, a place. It could be, it's whatever this is that you're starting off here. It's like the beginning of this. It's the beginning of a great quest of love is almost how it feels. Um, it's destined and it's predestined by the power. It's been given to you by the universe. You know, this is something that is universally, I don't know, that echoes throughout the universe in a really strange way. I don't know how to explain that. It's just, it was divinely um, sent for you. It's, this is for you from the universe. And it's love. It's just absolute, absolutely a feeling of amazing, overwhelming love. It could be that you're falling in love here. It could be that you're, you've stood your ground on a situation and you've kept yourself emotionally like, calm about a situation and now you're finally reaching the point where you can't anymore and you're like letting these feelings overflow into your life uh, or maybe you're confessing your love to somebody i don't know it's kind of what it feels like and then we have death and that looks really scary it looks really it looks metal all right but it does kind of look really metal though i have to say i saw this card and i was like that's metal as fuck <laughs> okay let's see let's find death here you. Beep, beep, beep. Where are you? There we are. Okay, sorry. All right. The Great Goblin was the leader of the goblins in the, in the Misty Mountains who captured the companions as they took shelter in a cave. With the sword of Ochris is revealed, he sentences the companions to be locked away forever in a dark dungeon full of snakes. <laughs> so kind. Um, just then, there is a tremendous flash of light as Gandalf reappears. So using his fireworks, he plunges the scene into chaotic confusion. Um, in the melee, Thorn re retrieves his blade and uses it to good effect. The other dwarves do the same. 
seeking a means of escape in the process. By Gandalf's hand, the great goblin was killed by his sword, Glamdring, and the companions escaped. So yeah, you guys are clearing away a lot in your life. I don't know, you're clearing away a lot of negative, or you're clearing away the past to make room for the future. You are having a, you're getting rid of the bad, and you're reopening yourself to a new path. And it could be with the same, if it's a love relationship, it could be with the same person. It could be with somebody from the past that you've decided, like, forget about our past together. I want to move forward now with you. Um, let's forget about how it used to be uh, or where like we've been let's start over together it's kind of like this could be you confessing to somebody that kind of situation or somebody doing that to you um, when you know when this card surfaces it's like something has to come to its natural end here is what it's telling me it's like something has to come to an end here something is ending and it's it's been almost like past due it's it's time is it's time is over you're liberating yourself from something you're not going to be clinging to something from the past anymore. You're not allowing yourself to live somehow. Somehow you're changing something about your life and the way that you live, um, the way that you see something uh, fundamentally, totally. You're moving on. You're having a rebirth here of a situation of this part of your life. I don't know. Um, so let's get some clarifiers here, guys. These are some really powerful cards. Um, okay, I'm going to be using my... Gustav Klimt today, actually to clarify, it's kind of what I feel like today. All right, so please clarify the King of Cups and the Seven. Oh my gosh, I, if it comes up again, I'll mention that card, but if not, I don't want to, I'm not going to mention it. The King of Cups and the Seven of Wands. Sorry, some stuff came out, but I don't know if it was just like on it. It was too many at once. King of Cups and the Seven of Wands. Please clarify the messages that they tell for Pisces for the end of August 2018. What are the King of Cups and the Seven of Wands? Um, say for Pisces. Oof. I get the Empress. King of Cups and the Seven of Wands. And the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, there's like you have been able to manifest, or like you have grown something. Like whatever seeds you have planted, it is now the time. It is now the time to harvest. You have been creating something. You have been um, creating something in a really big way for the Empress to be here. Sorry that it is so dark, guys. I am very frustrated about this. Let me see, actually, if I can quickly change the light. Okay, I think that helped. Thank God. Okay. Okay, sorry. Sorry about that. Um, okay, so yeah, then we get the Empress here. And the Empress is all about, I mean... She is the queen of creation. She can create whatever she wants. She's the perfect woman. She is all the feminine aspects of this is like extreme femininity. So even if you are a male, you have to rely on almost like a feminine, loving, like I don't know, like, a, like almost like a maternal side. Even if you are a man, you have to like reach in and find like this loving, almost like feminine side of yourself and really nurture that. I've had, or there's a woman in your life who is just absolutely perfect for you when it is the time to be with her even if you are a woman like if there is somebody in your life that you just cannot get over and she is just so perfect for you it's kind of crazy um or she's just like the most perfect person in your life she could be it could be the time this could be the divine timing for that i'm getting that for someone's relationship here um this woman like there's divine timing here um and you know maybe you were on like the rough other side of the wheel for a long time and now is the time to harvest now is the time Ooh, oh my god yeah so for some of you someone some of you needed to know that the flames just went crazy i don't know if you guys could see that on this candle that was really weird and when that happens it tells me that there's a really important message that someone needed to hear right there so some of you guys have this perfect woman probably she almost feels artistic and like just i don't know just really beautiful really um, just entrancing to you, somebody that is very earthy, somebody that is really loving and caring, and just almost it feels like they don't even have a bad bone in their body, and it is the divine timing for this person. The universe has ordained this as this is the time now. Now is the time to make your move, and some of you have been holding on to this for a while, and you need to move forward in it with that ace of cups there, and death, rebirth of this relationship. So you need to change it. It's now time to take that love and change the relationship. So I do feel that's why you guys are going to be confessing your love to somebody that you really care about this month. And again, the Empress, I mean, she feels like a woman to me. I, I can't really deny the fact that this is probably just a woman. 
Um, either that or this woman is going, if that's not the situation, then there is an Empress energy either within you or you're looking towards somebody to help you um, make something happen, to help you bring something to existence. And now is the timing for that. You might have like finally been like, wow, this person could really help me. Why didn't I think of this before? And you've been really emotionally stable. So if it is a, um, a financial situation, it's whatever you would put the seeds in, it's now time to, har it's now time to harvest. And it, maybe this woman could be helping you. There could be a woman helping you, uh, an older usually older, but um, sometimes just like very mature female in your life, somebody who you can rely on, somebody who has the ability to like make something out of nothing and really just like a really strong person. I don't know. She's like a strong um, manifester. Somebody who can manifest things into existence. And if like that person isn't in your life, you know, still you guys have the emotional stability or inner to manifest these things. Use your own manifesting power. Use that power of earth, that, that end of summer. I mean, I don't know what part of the globe you're on. It might not be that time. It could be almost um, spring, so maybe I'm wrong. But even like in the spring, there's growth. There is warmth. There is an ability to manifest life. So now could be the time. It could be approaching. I do feel that it is towards end of August here where you're going to be doing this. You're going to be standing your ground here. So... Let's pull one for that Ace of Cups there. You've stood your ground on this. You have defended this. Um, maybe you didn't even tell anybody else about this situation for some reason. I feel like some of you guys weren't telling anyone about it. And now you're going to have this emotional outpouring. So Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups for Pisces. What does it mean for events? Um, things that are going to be happening messages coming in messages going out feelings what does ace of cups mean for pisces for end of august 2018 eight of swords reverse you're not going to be listening to that side of yourself anymore you're like whatever fears you had you're finally ready to face them head on you're ready to face all these awful emotions these things that, like all the words and all the things that like maybe even people that keep you locked in this mental prison where you don't believe you can move forward you can you're finally going to see that the sun here with the eight of swords is very much about you know shedding light on that getting the clarity shedding the light onto it onto um your onto your situation here again this is my gustav Klimt deck um if i didn't mention that earlier um yeah, you're releasing yourself from your mental burdens here. These are all the thoughts that you have come to believe about yourself, all the negativity. Maybe other people have said these things about you or you've like, you know, you've adopted some sort of negative attitude about a situation and you're finally get, shedding some light on it, shedding some light on this situation. You're like, I have been in the dark too long. I'm ready to love myself. It seems almost like you're ready to really view what the heck is going on here. You're finally able to see the truth. Let's see. Let's see what the Ace of Cups and Death kind of mean together here, though. Kind of want to see their relationship and what Death is saying. Ace of Cups and Death. And I'm just going to kind of swoosh these along here. All right, Ace of Cups and Death, please clarify what they're telling us for Pisces for the end of August. Pisces for the end of August 2018. What is the Ace of Cups and Death telling Pisces for the end of August 2018? What do they need to know? What is happening here? King of Cups, again. <laughs> That's you. feel your song yeah you're like releasing something there is a release here you guys are letting somebody know that you're moving forward you're moving forward about something you're having like an emotional release about something it kind of seems like you're you're taking a stronger stance like um, you're finally releasing some emotions that you've kept inside for a long time maybe like you've been holding back telling somebody how you feel and now you're finally releasing that and you might be able to move on um, okay, hold on one second. There is a wasp indoors sidebar. 
Okay, sorry guys. I just we had a little battle with a wasp that flew at me. <laughs> uh, sorry for the interruption. I don't. He wouldn't have interrupted if it wasn't like literally flying right next to me in um, the cards. So <laughs> sorry about that. That was kind of terrifying. I really don't like them. Oh, we're going to go deal with that after. But anyways, King of Cups, you see you guys being emotionally stable about something. And then the Four of Cups here right next to it, reverse, is about you guys releasing something. Releasing maybe not getting um, some type of offer. You know, releasing yourself. It's kind of like you were holding on to something is what it feels like to me. And you're finally letting it go. You've been really emotionally stable about whatever it is you've been holding on to and standing up for. And you're finally having an emotional release about it. You're finally letting it go. It feels like you're communicating it. You might be going somewhere because of it. You might be traveling to somebody. You might be, it might happen very quickly. Um, or it could be that um, this happened while you were traveling, that you kind of had this revelation, and now you can't keep it in anymore. It's kind of like this is a rebirth. And like maybe if you guys are going to travel or you were traveling, it had something to do um, with that situation, and you can no longer. Um, keep this under wraps you have to find a rebirth for this situation um it has to the bad the bad needs to be purged the past needs to be purged so you can move forward and within this um and i do feel that this is not just talking about moving forward as well but i do feel like this has something to do about going away or being away something happened where you no longer can hold on to something um you have to have an emotional release about it you have to tell somebody about something um, it feels like there's communication here between people, between, if we're about some situation, um, between them that has gone on. It does feel like there is a past here. It does feel like this person wants, that you guys want a future, um, of some sort. And you're finally ready to let the bird out of the cage. And it kind of seems like maybe nobody really knew about this but you because, you don't know, Pisces, you guys are really good at, about keeping your emotions under wraps in a lot of situations so i think it has something to do with that um again let me pull um one of the gypsy witch cards as a message from spirit and then i will see you guys in september and again if you guys want to um enter for the free reading for a 10 minute free reading all you have to do is like share um comment and subscribe and once you've done all those things um, you can just email me and that would be perfect. And you guys will be entered for the contest for a free reading. All right, so what does Spirit have to say for Pisces for the end of August 2018? Ooh, what just came out? That just came out. <laughs> hand in hand indicates com confiding disposition. When in close proximity, um, a friendship will warm into love. Hmm. Um, it could also be... You will find um, favor with superiors or financial success. So whatever it is that you are emotionally outpouring here, it does seem like it's going to work out. You're good. If you're telling a friend that you're in love with them, if you're like taking that next step there, um, it's going to happen. It's going to work out. It's going to the feelings. It seems like will be reciprocated. I'm not going to say that's okay. That's for everybody, but you know, if for those of you who are you know having a friendship develop into more, or if like you've been keeping your emotions, you know, in check about that, um, you're going to tell them how you feel and it's going to be reciprocated. I really do feel that way. Um, could even be an ex? I don't know. Sometimes with death, I can see that I get, I don't know, I get exes, but I don't know. Don't quote me on that if it doesn't apply to you. Um, it could also be that you're getting financial success in something that you really love, something you've been working hard at and standing your ground on and not really um, letting your emotions tell you that you can't. And you finally like are getting what you deserve here, a rebirth of the situation. You could be having um, new opportunities, um, etc. Whatever this is, guys, it's like you guys have success coming in. You have success with superiors, with love, um, with friends, um, whatever the situation is, by emotionally, by releasing it and, you know, confiding, confessing your feelings about a situation to somebody or involved in, you know, coming forward towards a, towards a situation with love and um, in a confessing type way, it's going to work out for you. So I hope this was helpful for you, Pisces. Um, and I will see you guys in September.